assembling the shock corded frame, it is important to always ensure all poles are properly seated and completely inserted into all corresponding hub and socket locations. To start, insert each front leg with round rubber feet into its corresponding hub. You'll note the back legs are permanently riveted to the hub, so you don't need to worry about those. Holding both hubs in front of you, make sure all legs point downward. Next, connect the hubs to either side of the oval-shaped crossbar. There are black plastic inserts in the hubs that ensure the best fit possible at this connection point, but it is important to ensure the oval crossbar is completely inserted into both hubs. Now place the frame on level ground and connect the seat support poles to the hub. When connecting the back support pole segments, be sure the red ferrule is completely covered up indicating it is fully seated, and then insert them into the hub as well. Now face the frame away and prepare to assemble the seat. For an easier assembly, slide the recliner adjustment straps to the reclined position. Locate one of the top corners of the seat. The Nemo logo will confirm it is the top. Align it so the ball socket sits on the ball end of the top of the corresponding pole and with moderate downward pressure, snap the ball completely into the socket while supporting the pole with the other hand. You should feel and or hear a pop when it snaps into place. Now to connect the other pole, alternate hands and simultaneously pull the other socket to align with the other pole and support it as you press downward to insert the ball into the socket. Being able to rotate the sockets without detachment is a good visual confirmation. Finish connecting the other corners by snapping the seat support pole ends into their corresponding socket connections. Once seated, locate the handles on either side of the chair and either push the handles forward while sitting up for a more upright position or pull the handles back when you want to recline and relax. Be sure to push and pull the handles in line with the webbing for smoothest operation. For the easiest pack up, start by sliding the recliner adjustment handles toward the back of the chair to the fully reclined position. While facing the side of the chair, hold the lower pole in one hand and with the other hand, rotate the lower corner connection in an upward twisting motion away from the frame to easily remove. Be sure to keep one hand on the pole as it is under some pressure when connected on all sides. Repeat this motion on the other side to remove the other lower connection and then remove the remaining top corner connections as they will easily roll off the pole ends. To disassemble the frame, start by holding it up in front of you by the hubs. Next, pull both hubs off the oval crossbar and fold to ensure the riveted legs are in line with the crossbar. Holding the collapsed poles in one hand, continue to disconnect the assembly by pulling the remaining poles out of the hub with the other hand. Next, lay the seat on the ground and fold the corner connections and recliner adjustment straps inwardly so the corner connection materials align but do not overlap. Take the disassembled pole set and roll it up perpendicularly within the mesh seat. Slide the wrapped chair easily into the carrying case, utilizing the closed end to keep it tight, and then zip it up. 